Well, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon and welcome to Coolidge High School. We are happy, glad to see you. My name is Samantha Bright and I am the principal of Coolidge High School. I am excited to be here and to lead this amazing school where the staff, the students, and the alumni are filled with such pride. Why don't you give yourselves a hand and thank you for coming out. To Mayor Muriel Bowser, Chancellor Antoine Wilson, thank you for investing in our students and the modernization of our historic school. We are so proud of our new Health Science Academy and the Mass Media Program. We are excited and cannot wait for the new state-of-the-art facility where the new programming will support our students as they prepare for life beyond Coolidge. Please join us after this program for refreshments on the lawn, and we thank you all for coming today. I would like to introduce to you two of the greatest students at Coolidge High School, where all of our students are great. I bring to you Shire Blackman and Jayla Moore. Okay. Good afternoon. I am Shire Blackman from the class of 2019, and I'd like to welcome you to our momentous groundbreaking ceremony for the modernization of Calvin Coolidge Senior High School. A special welcome to our esteemed guests, Mayor Muriel Bowser, Ta Chancellor Antoine Wilson, Councilman Brandon Todd from Ward 4, and our newly assigned principal, Mrs. Samantha Bright. <laughs> And now I'd like to turn the podium over to Senior Jayla Moore. Yay! Okay. Good afternoon again, students, parents, guardians, and my esteemed guests. My name is Jayla Moore, and I'm a senior here at Calvin Coolidge Senior High School. I am exhilarated that the school that myself and others so very much love and enjoy is being renovated into a better home for future and current Coolidge Colts. I've experienced so many heartfelt and astonishing moments throughout my time here. The extracurric extracurricular activities, friendships, bonds, and level of education provided here makes Coolidge a standout land of academia. All thanks definitely go to the hardworking teachers and staff who support us like mothers, fathers, and symbols of motivation and comfort. I mostly appreciate the time and effort teachers devote to us and to their craft. They've gone far and wide to make sure that each cult never goes a day without learning what is necessary in order for them to be successful in the future. I am extremely enthusiastic about the school's renovation because giving students a more safe and comfortable work environment with proper tools, books, space, and technology will offer students the ability to be the best student leaders possible. I may not be around when the new building is complete, but I'm excited to see, to see the stars who rise and benefit throughout time. I want to thank you all for helping myself and others strive to be cults, committed, optimistic leaders who transform society. And now, without further ado, I couldn't be more flattered to introduce to you my beautiful and strong mayor, Mrs. Mary Bowser. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, my dear. Let's hear it for our young Colts. Give them a big round of applause. And welcome to Coolidge. We're gonna get a brand new Coolidge. And I wanna say a big welcome to all of our Coolidge Colts, our students who des are very much deserving of an outstanding learning facility, fantastic teachers and staff here at Coolidge. So give them a big round of applause. To our council member, Brandon Todd, uh, to our board member on the state school board, L Lynette Woodruff, to our at-large council member, Robert White, let's give them a big round of applause for always supporting Calvin Coolidge Senior High School, and we appreciate it. And then my, I have to say, excuse me to everybody, but my absolute favorite Deus guest today, world-class Coolidge alum, Terry Goins. Give Terry a big round of applause. Mr. Coolidge, 
When they see him coming, they know what he's talking about. Coolidge. And I, if it wasn't for Terry, and I, I'm not, you know, I'm not one for exaggeration, so you know I mean when I say. Uh, Terry has been singularly focused on Calvin Coolidge High School. He would let no one forget and held everyone accountable for delivering on this day. You gave me the privilege of being your council member for almost eight years, and for eight years we have been focused and really making sure that nothing happened, ever happened to the promise that we made to make sure that Calvin Coolidge got a world-class modernization. I'm grateful to Councilmember Todd for ensuring that the monies that we have dedicated year after year are finally delivered uh, this year. What the students here will get is what all students deserve, a world-class facility right here at Calvin Coolidge. I'm very grateful for our team at DCPS, and we have a brand new Chancellor. His name is Antoine Wilson. Welcome, Chancellor Wilson. I'm very grateful to our team at the Department of General Services, which is the construction arm of the D.C. government, led by Director Gear Gillis. So thank her. But I'm also grateful to the community that came together. We focused on two years to make sure we would have a plan that worked for this wonderful community that surround us, for our current students, and for our future students. And in that discussion, they came up with a long-term plan for Coolidge that would allow us to have a middle school right on site with Calvin Coolidge High School and allow us to have a high school right here. What you see is a $160 million renovation. And you know what? We deserve it. Now, you'll hear a lot of people sometimes talk to us about how much the buildings cost, but we are giving our students world-class environments. Coolidge will be the last comprehensive high school in the District of Columbia to be totally modernized, and it will be worth the wait. Uh, so I just want everybody to know how happy I am uh, that this is part of a, another commitment that we've made to public education in Washington, D.C. In the last two and a half years, we've increased our investment. We've doubled down, really, on what we're putting into our public schools. Over the last 10 years, You've walked with us on a, sometimes a, a, a funny walk. Sometimes it was hard. Sometimes there were a lot of tough decisions to be made on our path to school reform. But what Chancellor Wilson and I were able to announce just a couple of weeks ago was that those investments are paying off. We saw in our schools increases in our math scores and in our reading scores in ways that outpaced that outpaced the public charter sector. And so what we know is that the combination of school choices that we have made in our city are paying off for all students. The black students and the white students saw achievement. The kids on the east side of the city and the west side of the city saw gains. Kids that have different learning styles, they saw gains too. Our children that speak English as a second language, they saw gains too. Everybody is achieving. We know we have a lot more work to do, but we know that the commitment of communities and parents and teachers is paying off. I was very proud also with Chancellor Wilson to announce for the first time in five years, we've reached a tentative agreement with our teachers. So our teachers are going to get the raise that they deserve too. So all they got to do is vote yes. And then I'm going to send it down to that council and they better vote yes because our teachers need their raise. Uh, and I promised that we would do it and we've done it and we put a very competitive package in front of them, even one that will give them back pay for the last fiscal year. And the sooner it gets approved, the sooner they'll get that bonus check. And we know that makes everybody happy.
And so we know, too, when you're going to hear from the chancellor, because we know part of our kids' experience, of course, is academics. But children have to have well-rounded experiences, including extracurricular activities on the field and off the field, in computer labs and around the world. And that is what we have promised to our students in Washington, D.C. Let me be, make something very clear. These are the best of times in our city. We are progressing in a lot of ways. In the last quarter, Ms. Bean, you'll know about this because you've been doing business a long time in Washington, D.C. Where's Say hi to Vanilla Bean. Yay. This your neighbor. And she's been in business I, probably 60 years. And we want to thank her. She's a Coolidge neighbor. And thank you for being here, Ms. Bean, to help celebrate with the children. But where I was going with that, I don't even know where I was going with it. Other than to say, last year, the end of 2016, was the best fiscal quarter in the history of the District of Columbia. And we thought we were doing pretty good until the first quarter of this year came around, and it was even better. So your government is running. We're making progress. And more than that, we have what we need to make investments in all kids all families so that more Washingtonians get a fair shot in this city, and we're going to keep doing it. So with that, let's get uh, to hearing from uh, so many people that have a hand in making this project work and be successful, and I'm going to ask the Chancellor of Schools to come up to greet you. Good afternoon. I'm so excited to be here at uh, Coolidge Senior High School. I had an opportunity to visit last year. I had an opportunity to actually swing by here earlier this year. And uh, it is a tremendous school and a tremendous community that deserves a brand new school. So I'm excited about that. So just a few things um, that I want to share with you. First, I just want to thank uh, Principal Bright. Thank you for leading the school. Yes, please. I will tell you that uh, Principal Bright, when she came into uh, my office interview for the position, just came in strong. And after I left, I was like, "Woo, who is she? <laughs> uh, we need to get her hired over there. So I am so excited that you were here leading. So thank you. Um, I also want to appreciate all of our teachers. If you're a teacher or a staff member, please give it up for all of them. You do a tremendous job. You made such a huge difference in the lives of young people, and we know that most of what you do is that goes unnoticed. And so I want to let you know that we appreciate you for the things that people see and then all those things that people do not see um, that you do to make sure young people are successful. also want to appreciate all of our alumni. If you're alumni, please uh, acknowledge all of our alumni here at Coolidge. It's important th that we appreciate the alumni because they help provide us the history and rich tradition that exists in the school, and we want to make sure that we're always making those connections. Young people, I would encourage you, if you're here and you see people and their alumni, you get to know them, you find out what they're doing, because what it does is when you find out what they're doing, it lets you know that if that, that they were able to walk through these halls and they were successful, then that is also out there for you. So we want to make sure that you are getting to know the alumni and appreciate them, also all the community members. Um, I also want to thank the council. Uh, I, basically, uh, as I think about uh, the work that is happening here in D.C., the investment in schools, it is unprecedented across the country to have such an investment in schools. And then finally, and uh, certainly last but not least, I want to appreciate Mayor Bowser. Mayor Bowser has had a commitment to education. She has focused on making sure that our schools are, uh, are equipped that they have the best of everything, and we want to make sure that we are paying off that investment and making sure that our students are graduating at high levels, they're prepared for college and career opportunities, and they're positioned to uh, make a huge difference in the world. So I just want to share a few things you may not know. The mayor alluded, alluded to some of them. So as we celebrate the modernization here at Coolidge, uh, we did see unprecedented gains on the park assessment across the city, but here specifically in Ward 4. It's important that you know that the park assessment is a measure of college and career readiness. It is saying whether or not our students are uh, meeting the standards they need so that when they walk into a college or career opportunity, they'll be ready to be successful. And here, Coolidge High School in Ward 4 saw a 4% increase in English language arts and also an increase in math. And so we want to appreciate Coolidge um, High School. 
And you know that we're going to have a middle school here, and so the middle schools will be made up of students from the neighboring surrounding schools. And so Coolidge is as strong as its feeder. So we need to care about students all the way through. And so when you think about Whittier Education Campus, so a 13 uh, percentage point increase in English language arts and 14 percent math. Brightwood Education Campus saw a 6 percent inc a point increase in English language arts and 7 percent in math. Dorothy Hyde Elementary School, 6% increase in English language arts, 11% in math. And then Truesdale, 16%, a 16 percentage point increase in ELA, 4% in math. That's important to those students. We want them to matriculate up through the middle school here. So as we accelerate growth here, we want to make sure that there are world-class options. So that's why we're excited about the new middle school that will be here. It will give middle school students an opportunity to study uh, in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and math. Students will, will be able to compete in athletics and extracurricular activities. And th those things will all prepare students to matriculate into the high school. And the high school is important because this year we launched the Health Science Academy here at Coolidge High School that aims to prepare students for successful careers in college and math and health-related fields and it prepares you with the critical thinking skills you're going to need so that when you leave Coolidge, you know that you're ready to, work and to walk into the world of work, walk into a college and compete with the best students around the country because you are amongst them. And so we want to appreciate that. Also, our students will be researching and in, in exploring uh, courses in, uh, in subjects like biology and chemistry, anatomy, uh, physics, biomedical engineering, uh, public health, and more. We also are excited about the uh, communications uh, uh, program here, and we want to make sure the, 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 the focus that we're looking at is when we walk into the school and no one's there, we want to know, we want to say, they must be focused on health science here based on what we're seeing. They must be focused on communications based on what we're seeing. And then young person, people, when you leave here and you go into a medical uh, field or you go to uh, a media uh, or a communications facility, you should walk in and say, I know just what to do in this space because I was prepared while I was at Coolidge Senior High School to walk into these spaces. So lastly, I want to wish Coolidge a lot of, um, a lot of luck during this school year. We want to make sure that we're tapping into the, uh, the festive spirit here to continue Continue to support our young people as they go forward. Because after we get the facility built, we want to make sure that we are continuing to support them because we have high expectations about what will be true here. We have plans to make sure that there is a premier institution where students are walking out of this school, not just some students, all of them, with college and career credit before they leave. So I want to make sure you know that we're not looking at staying where we're at, which is on the upper trajectory. We want to make sure that we have a premier school in the region and that this school is one of the schools that students are flocking to and uh, we're able to uh, continue to celebrate. So with that, I just want to say thank you again. I want to appreciate all of you and, and turn it over to my colleague, uh, Director of, uh, of, the, of the Department of General Services, Greer, Greer, Greer Gillis. Thank you. Thank you, Chancellor Wilson. Good afternoon, Coolidge Colts. All right. As the director of the Department of General Services, I am just as excited as you are to start this modernization of Coolidge High School and Coolidge Middle School. So as I stand here with Mayor Bowser, Chancellor Wilson, Councilmember Todd, Councilmember White, the Ward 4 community, and you, I cannot wait until we all are back here again in 2019 for the ribbon cutting of the new Coolidge High School. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So over the next 18 months, you're going to see the best tradesmen out here, the best small businesses that only Washington, D.C. can bring out here on this construction, and of course, all of us at Team DGS. As Mayor Bowser said, we are the construction arm of the city, and she holds us to a high standard, so you should hold us to a high standard. We're going to deliver to you a quality school, and this is near and dear to us. Our role is to elevate everyone in the city and elevate all of you, and we want to do that by means of this project. So, because we feel that for all of you, you are the future leaders of Washington, D.C., so we want to bring you the best. 
I want to take this opportunity to really thank my team that you're going to see over the next 18 months. Our DGS project manager, Miguel Nogueras, our architect, Architecture Incorporated, and our general contractor, Turner Construction. They're committed to bringing Coolidge Colts, Coolidge High School, the best, because we only want the best for you. Thank you. And now I'll turn it back to Mayor Bowser. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. So when you get a chance uh, to walk around, you're going to notice that DGS has constructed some modular units. So the children will be going to school in those classrooms while their building is under construction. Uh, they, of course, will still have access to the field, and the teams can go out there and win some games for us, right? That's right. And so now I just want to introduce our partners at the Council of the District of Columbia because we wouldn't really be here um, but for their commitment, their sheer commitment with us to deliver on a world-class facility uh, for Coolidge. And Brandon Todd has been extraordinary in pulling um, this project across the line. Our council member, Council Member Todd. Good afternoon, Coolidge Colts. Well, I think this is probably one of the most exciting days since I was elected your council member 24 months ago, and that's to break ground on Calvin Coolidge Senior High School. I first want to start by thanking our mayor, Mayor Mario Bowser. Let's give Mayor Bowser a big round of applause. Our chancellor, Antoine Wilson, the Coolidge principal. Director Greer Gillis, Advisory Neighborhood Commissioner Scott Knickerbocker, give us a wave, Scott, who represents Coolidge, as well as all of ANC 4B, 4A, and all Advisory Neighborhood Commissioners and Civic Leaders that are here today. Let's give them all a big round of applause. I would also like to acknowledge, I think, all of our good friend, uh, Terry Goings, uh, who is with the Coolidge Alumni Association. And since the day I took office representing you as your council member, Terry Goings has talked to me about this high school and its full modernization every single day. And thank you, Terry, <laughs> for that. So if Terry gave you a telephone call asking you to call or email the city council or show up to a hearing so that my colleagues knew how important this school is to Ward 4 and to the District of Columbia, raise your hand. Uh, that should be everybody out here. But I want to thank you, Terry, for your leadership and your commitment to Coolidge uh, Senior High School. I also want to acknowledge our State Board of Education member, Dr. Lynette Woodruff, who represents Ward 4 on the State Board of Education. But today is a really exciting day. As the mayor and the chancellor said, we are investing $160 million uh, into the students in Ward 4, and that is going to make a tremendous difference for the experience that they have in high school. And it's really the focus of our teachers, our school leadership, and our students that will make this newly modernized school a bell of the ball for Ward 4 School. So I'm just simply thrilled and enthusiastic about being here today, and I'm ready to turn some dirt and really celebrate with all of you the groundbreaking for the Calvin Coolidge Senior High School. Congratulations, Colts. And I would also like to acknowledge and bring up uh, my colleague at large council member, Robert White. Good afternoon, Coolidge Colts. So one thing you might not know about me is I'm a, uh, I'm a Ward 4 native and I, I live in Ward 4 uh, today. And when I got elected, I did the math, I said, all right, we got a Ward 4 council member and an at large council member on Ward 4 and our mayor's in Ward 4. So, I knew we had better get something done or we all were going to be in trouble. And when I spoke to the mayor during the budget time, and of course, Councilmember Todd and I have spoken about Coolidge many times, and I said, you know, Madam Mayor, we got all these Ward 4 folks, we got to get Coolidge done. And she said, and I quote, Councilmember, I will lay down in the street if Coolidge doesn't get funded. So that is to say, there's been a full commitment, I think, from your city leaders to really get this school done. I think Coolidge knows that it's not just due but overdue for this investment. And what I believe, what I know for a fact, is that the investment will be worth the wait. You will see a school uh, that is, honors the community that it's in, that honors you, honors the current students who may not uh, get to partake, but honors the future of this school that I think is as strong as the alumni represented uh, so nobly by, uh, by Terry, who has 
as everybody else said, I'm going to repeat, harassed us day in and day out about this school. <clears throat> but I do love Coolidge. I love this community. I think we have half of the ANC commissioners in Ward 4 out here today uh, all excited uh, about this groundbreaking. And I think none of us can wait until we are here for the ribbon cutting to see the brand new, overdue, but absolutely beautiful Calvin Coolidge High School. Uh, so Coolidge community, I'm so excited to be here. I'm happy that we're here and we're going to continue fighting to make sure that this goes smoothly and gets done on time. And I want to thank uh, Councilmember Todd from War 4 and the mayor for their leadership in really getting us here. Thank you. Let me invite our board member up to just offer a few greetings from the State Board of Education. Dr. Woodruff. Good evening. It is a pleasure to be here with the Colts. I've lived down the street. I've watched the two middle schools close and become charter schools, and I was angry because I felt we needed a school right here that was walkable again. And so I am just thrilled to death that we now have a middle school. And my son is leaving middle school this year, but it's okay. <laughs> Because now I know that there will be children to come along that will have a middle school that provides full service right here at Coolidge. And it is a pleasure to he be here and stand before you. And thank you, Mayor and Council Members and everyone up here and down there for representing. Because we have to represent in order to succeed for Ward 4. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And so last but not least, uh, I want to invite our friend and your uh, Coolidge alumni booster of all boosters, Terry Goins, to come and talk about his high school. Coolidge, C-O-O-L-I-D-G-E, spell Coolidge. Come on, Coolidge, let's show them how we do it. Come on, Coolidge. C-O-O-L-I-D-G-E, spell Kool-Aid. Come on, Mr. Sands, one more time. C-O-O-L-I-D-G-E, spell Kool-Aid. Yeah, we're going to party over here in a little while, amen? Yeah, I'd like to just first give honor to my Lord and Savior, who gave me the strength. We've been in this fight since 2002, 15 long years we've been in this battle. There was a group of people, Kathy Rowley, Barbara Patterson, Luke Turner, Frank Jones, and supporters of alumni, and the ANC Commission for 15 years. We've been fighting to get Coolidge modernized. Nine principals, three council members, three deputy mayors of, three deputy mayors of education, Four chancellors, Mr. Wilson, a number of DCPS facilities directors, and now we have DGS directors. There's only one ANC commissioner that's on the commission that was there when we had our fight. That was how long we've been in this fight, for a long time. But one thing I do have to say is one person that's been fighting long as I have and supported me like no other. And I do have to say, that is our mayor, Muriel Bowser. When she was council member, we used to go down there and meet. We used to try to put the numbers together to see what we can do. We was talking about the middle school, what we can do to get Coolidge modernized. But one thing I knew for sure, that once she got elected mayor, that we was in good hands, y'all. I knew that we was in good hands, that we had somebody that was going to support Coolidge. And then when she, when she anointed Brandon for council member, <laughs> I said, hey. And then when Robert White got in, I said, man, I think we can get this done. I used to tell them now, we don't get this done now, we are not going to get this done. I mean, it's been a long fight. Y'all just don't understand what these folks have to go through up here. See, because we're not the only ones that are fighting for this modernization money. There's other folks that are fighting for this money. There's people on the listserv talking about, man, they don't have the numbers. Why are you modernizing that school? We want the numbers. But these folks up here, they stood tall. 
They put their name on the line for Coolidge. We should give them a hand for that, y'all. They put their name on the line. You know, I just want to thank the Alumni Association for being behind me. All those hearings going downtown. Although I might not, been, I've been going down there by myself. But I know when I want them to send a letter, all of a sudden we got a petition with 800 names on it, y'all. You know, so that made a difference right there. So I definitely want to thank y'all. There's a few teachers that have been here with the fight with me. Antoinette Johnson, Mr. Sands, Jean Savoy, those folks been here. Ms. Mitchell, Mr. Dixon, those folks been around here for a long time, during the good times and during the bad times. And I'd like to thank them for hanging in there. We went through a lot of changes, a lot of principal changes. You know, those folks hung in there. We got a long way to go. We still got to get our numbers up. We in a community that have one of the highest medium income in the city. Why don't we have the best school in the city, y'all? This got to be a community effort. It can't be a Terry effort. It can't be a Muriel effort. It can't be an Antoine Wilson effort. It got to be a community effort. We have, I'm, I'm, I'm going to cut it short. <laughs> I just want to get in. It's been 15 years, y'all. <laughs> All right, I've been waiting for this day. <laughs> okay. No, but I just want to say one thing. We got a principal that I know have the energy, y'all. When we go over here to this tailgate, y'all need to get to know her. Okay. Talk to her. She got the energy. She wanted to be, she wanted this to be a community school. We talked about that. So I want y'all to support her. That's going to make the difference. So I want to thank everyone for coming out. I'm ready for the big party. Excuse me if I'm a little bit excited, but thank y'all for coming out. Thank <laughs> you.